she is the hottest star on the internet. She opened a concert to attract hundreds of thousands of viewers and cast the screen around the world live. Women imitate her like crazy. Men draw her name on their bodies. Wherever she is heard to appear, there will be a riot immediately. But this woman who has become a global sensation doesn't exist. She is just a code written by a director. The director's name is Victor. Since his films have been box office flops for four consecutive years, the owner of the studio was his ex-wife, and she fired him. Just when Victor was ready to leave in frustration, a man with a terminal illness approached him. He said he had created a program that could help Victor regain his success. But it wasn't long before the man died. On his deathbed, he sent a package to Victor. Victor opened it and saw that it was a hard drive. He opened the hard drive and saw a virtual image of a woman appear on the screen. She was so beautiful and lifelike. Victor named her Simone. 280 days later Victor's new movie was born, and the lead actress was Simone. Her superb acting brought tears to the audience's eyes. No one could see through Simone's true identity. In the end, Simone became an instant hit. She was in the headlines of all the media. Victor was brought back to the studio and given a separate studio. He had no sets in this studio, no filming equipment, just a computer and a few monitors. Victor took all the good qualities of the beautiful celebrities and made them perfect for Simone. Soon Victor planned to start a second film. Many famous actors volunteered to play supporting roles for Simone. Victor wanted to hide the secret that Simone was an avatar, so he let the other actors play their own roles. He added Simone to the film through post-production effects. He gave her movements, voice and expressions. Then the launch of the new film took place, but it was accompanied by a lot of controversy. After all, Simone herself had never been seen in public. Even the most famous paparazzi in the entertainment industry tried to wiretap and film Simone but they couldn't find a single clue. The outside media suspected that Victor was keeping Simone under house arrest and using her as a moneymaker. Victor had an idea to dispel the suspicion. The actress was too hot. All she had to do was show a shadow at the window and her fans would wait all night. But they didn't know she was a shadow created by Victor using a lamp to shine on Snow White. Victor faked Simone's stay here. He also cut off bits of wig and put used soap in the bathtub. He sprays the bed with perfume and rolls around. He threw some women's clothes on the couch. But in his haste, he dropped his toothbrush into the toilet. So he had to reach down and pick it up and put it back where he found it. Victor then left the hotel with a woman whose head was wrapped and whose legs could only be seen. Everyone thought that the woman was Simone. But in fact, this woman was a double actor that Victor had hired. In order to get a clue about Simone, the paparazzi paid a lot of money to the hotel attendant. He went to Simone's room and collected some intimate clothes. He also felt the afterglow of Victor's sleep on the bed. He even gently stroked the toilet and the toothbrush that had just fallen into the toilet. It seems that he is also a big fan of Simone. It wasn't long before Victor was approached by the studio executives. They asked Simone to appear on a talk show to promote the film. Victor had to agree to them. But he said Simone would only do online interviews. The executives gave in. So the interview began. Victor found a random desert backdrop. He was in front of the screen controlling Simone's every word and action. But as they talked, Simone turned into a mosaic. It turned out that the computer was running out of memory. The host thought it was the poor signal that made her look blurry. So he said thank you and said goodbye to Simone. Victor thought it was finally over. But the paparazzi reporter recognized that Simone was doing the interview in the background at a certain spot. When he got there, he found something wrong. It turned out that a toilet had already been built there. Then they found the director Victor and produced evidence of the photo shoot. They suspected that Simone was under Victor's house arrest. Why else would Victor have used a fake background image? If they weren't allowed to see Simone in person, they would hand over the evidence to the police. Victor had no choice but to agree with them, so he held a concert for Simone. But he asked the audience not to bring cameras and binoculars. He also set up a lot of smoke to interfere with the view in order to prevent Simone's identity from being revealed. Because Simone was projected on the stage, although the audience could not see it. But they would automatically assume that the blurred figure on stage was the Simone they had been longing for. The paparazzi reporter also believed it as a matter of course. Sometimes it's easier to fool hundreds of thousands of people than to fool one person. After the concert, people were crazy about her. Men were carving Simone's name on their bodies. It was the day of the Oscars ceremony. Simone, the lead actress, was never there. Victor made a video for Simone to give her acceptance speech. She thanked everyone but Victor. Victor suddenly realized that. He had brought Simone into the role for so long that he had forgotten himself. Everyone loved Simone. But no one loves him, and no one loves his films. Even his ex-wife said, you're nothing without Simone. 
At this moment his self-esteem was shattered. In a fit of rage, he decided to destroy Simone. The celebrity with 90 million followers was crawling around in a pigsty in a wedding dress. She even ate with the pigs. It was a horrible scene. Victor thought that would be enough to ruin Simone. But he didn't expect people to be moved by Simone's dedication to her art and applaud her after the movie. Victor was confused. But that wasn't the end of it. He made Simone appear on TV again and made her say ridiculous things. But the audience thought she had a lot of personality. Fashion magazines were using her on their covers. Victor felt that it was impossible to ruin her reputation. So he made a decision that caused him a lot of heartache. He inserted a virus CD into his computer and destroyed Simone's program. A beautiful celebrity just disappeared. Victor also put the initial hard drive and the CDs into a box. He dragged the box into the harbor and threw it into the sea in the night. He then held a press conference to announce Simone's death. He lied that she had contracted a rare virus and held a funeral for her amidst silence. That's when several police officers arrived and pried open the coffin. They found not the body but a poster of Simone inside. Then Victor was arrested. It turned out that he had been caught on camera pulling the box into the harbor that night. So the police suspected that Victor had killed Simone and dumped her body at sea. Victor had to tell the whole truth to clear his name. He also took the police to the sea to retrieve the box, but the lock of the case was broken. The discs inside the box have all disappeared. Now Victor had nothing to say. Soon Simone was sunk in the sea and eaten by sharks appeared in the press. Victor felt desperate when a twist came. Simone appeared on TV with a lot of energy. She was carrying today's newspaper. Victor was completely shocked. The next day, Victor was acquitted of all charges. He got into the car where his ex-wife came to pick him up. It turns out his daughter saved her life. She's a computer whiz. She found a virus CD on Victor's computer and immediately killed the virus and cracked the program. After he understood the reason, Simone appeared on TV again. And this time, they will have more crazy action. This movie tells us that what is on the internet is not always true. Don't follow it blindly. Behind the reality may be a masterful director in control of everything. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.